Our next award recipient is here with us tonight, and we're honored to have this young lady uh, join the future ranks of these epic award-winning authors. She hails from Dallas, Texas, has been with us selling her book for just over a year now, and the results of her sales have been phenomenal. Please help us welcome the newest inductee into the Platinum Reader's Legacy Awards family, Miss Esther Sfina. <laughs> Longtime visions and dreams is to be at the Academy Award. <laughs> so I'm going to pretend that I am there. You are. So, oh my God, this thing is heavy. <laughs> so, first I would like to do my thank yous. I hope you all have about 60 minutes <laughs> until the music plays and then I will be off the stage. Not necessarily in order, but of course, I have to thank my publisher, oh, thank Ken you. Dunn, because he saw in me a vision and a dream that I could do this. Um, I work with the company, and one day the CMO said to me, you should write a book. And I'm like, I ain't got to write a book. I don't have nothing to talk about. He goes, no, you're going to write a book someday. And it was, that was the end of it. And then several months later, God put Ken Dunn in my life, and it was like I just knew he was going to be the one to help me write a book. And then you cannot write a book without your amazing editor, Simon. Love him. He is the brains behind the book. And then you cannot write a book without who really runs everything, and it just happens to be a woman. Ugh. The ambitious woman, Tiffany. <laughs> and right behind her, her mini-me, Shannon. And of course, there is the money guy, <laughs> Rod. So real quickly, I do have to thank um, of just a few other people. Honey, are you watching me on TV? I am out there. Hello. <laughs> I, could not, I could not write a book without my husband who relentlessly did not see me for six months. And my children and grandchildren that put up with me all those times doing it. And then, of course, my very good friend, Leslie Hart, who is my partner here tonight, and she has been the encourager, inspiring. When I say I can't do it, she says you can do it. And so everyone needs an accountability partner, somebody like that to say you can do it. She's my biggest cheerleader. And then last of all, but not in that order, thank God, because I could not do it without the grace of God to help me Amen. do this. Thank you.